Hey everyone, my name is Tiffany Phillips. I'm the communications manager at the Brown School and I'm honored to be able to participate in this year's Black History Month celebration. Uh, in honor of Black History Month, I wanted to share some information about an achiever that's from my hometown of Little Rock, Arkansas. Lois K. Alexander Lane. Born Lois Marie Kendall on July 11, 1916, she displayed her love of fashion early by peering into department store windows and sketching dress designs. Her love of fashion led her to obtain a master's degree in retailing, fashion, and merchandising from New York University in the 1960s. Under the mentorship of Mary McLeod Bethune, Lane moved to Washington, D.C. in 1942 and began a decades-long career in the federal government. She didn't let her day job interfere with her passions, becoming a reporter and photographer. Moving further into fashion, she established two custom wear boutiques, The Needle Nook in Washington, D.C. and Lois K. Alexander & Company in New York City. According to a 2007 article in the Washington Post, Lane wanted to dispel the notion that Black Americans were newfound talent and honor their contribution. This led to her founding both the Harlem Institute of Fashion, or HIF, and the National Association of Milliners, Dressmakers, and Tailors, both in 1966. The Institute gave free courses in dressmaking and tailoring to neighborhood residents, while also teaching English, math, and African American history. The association sought to develop practical means to help HIF graduates find jobs. Lane founded the Black Fashion Museum in 1979 with a grant from the National Endowment of the Arts to exhibit clothing designed, sewn, or worn by Blacks since the 19th century. The collection includes authentic slave dresses, as well as costumes from Broadway shows, such as For Colored Girls and The Wiz. It also features pieces by designers Peter Davy and Anne Lowe, who designed Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy's bridal gown. In 1988, Lane's daughter, Joyce Alexander Bailey, launched a mobile mini museum that exhibited parts of the collection at churches, schools, and civic organizations. The Black Fashion Museum's complete collection, numbering over 3,000 pieces, was donated to the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture after Lane's death in 2007. Thank you for taking the time to learn about this icon.